you serious? Hey guys, Leveled Up DC TV Show here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the trailer for The Flash Season 8, Episode 15 titled Into the Still Force. This episode has been an episode I have been looking forward to for a long time now, ever since we got set photos for this episode. And yeah, this is why I am particularly excited to do this breakdown and give you guys my overall thoughts and theories in regards to what I think is going to take place during this episode. Now, of course, before I get into the trailer breakdown itself, I will go over the synopsis for the episode as it does give us a better idea in regards to what we should expect going into the episode. So the synopsis kicks off as followed, executive producer Eric Wallace directs, The Flash gets an assist from XS, meanwhile CCPD enlists Chester for help when a mysterious device is found at a crime scene. So yeah, right off the bat, showrunner Eric Wallace will be directing this episode. This will be his directorial debut I believe, so yeah, it will be interesting to see what Eric Wallace brings into the table. But yeah, from the synopsis as well as trailers, set photos, and of course promo images which we'll be talking about during this video as well, we did know that Nora West Allen was going to be returning for this episode, which of course is something to look forward to. I've always enjoyed Nora West Allen being there on the show, especially this new version of Nora we had since season 7. It is always great to see Barry and Nora interact with one another as well. Of course, there will be no Bart in this episode because when they were filming this episode, Jordan Fisher was doing Broadway, so unfortunately he wasn't able to film some scenes as Bart. So yeah, that is why we'll only be having Barry and Nora for this episode. So I hope that there's going to be like a valid reasoning for why Nora is there, but Bart isn't. I do have a theory, but it could be far-fetched and I will talk about it later during this video. But yeah, as we are heading into the trailer breakdown itself right now, if you guys go on to enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel so you are aware of more Arrowverse content coming your way. Okay, so this trailer kicks off with Barry telling Team Flash that Iris has gone missing. So we are pretty much starting things exactly right where we left off from episode 14, where we have Iris of course disappearing somewhere in the still force. And this will not be a resolution for a while now, because for those who don't know, Candace Patton did take a hiatus during this time, and that was the main purpose behind this time sickness disappearance in the first place. So it wasn't any like story related things. Maybe it was story related, but if it was story related, her disappearance would have definitely been shorter. But the reason why it's going on for so long is because Candace Patton actually took a hiatus. But yeah, we will not be seeing Iris until episode 19. So yeah, for any Iris fans out there, you're not going to be having Iris for a while now. But yeah, of course we do have Iris missing. So we do have Barry searching her office in the morning. So you could assume that he doesn't find her at the loft when he wakes up. So like he searches the loft, he doesn't find her. So then he heads to maybe like Joe's house, he doesn't find her there. And then he heads to her office at the CCC Media, finds her laptop open and her bag still there. And um, that is most probably when Barry finds out that there is something wrong. He still doesn't know what. Maybe he'll try and give Iris a few calls, but he'll get suspicious about something. And maybe he could begin to potentially see some like tiny green particles, which could allude to Barry that she has disappeared in the still force. Who knows? Maybe Dion is able to feel that Iris is somewhere within the depths of the still force. And then she and then he ends up telling Barry that, okay, Iris has disappeared somewhere in the still force, we're gonna have to work together and pretty much find her. That could also be what is going on over here. Now, we do have Dion warning Barry that the still force essentially works very differently and time essentially repeats indefinitely in the still force. Now, this episode will also be very interesting because we will see how exactly the still force works, so I am really interested to see all of that stuff and really like explore the still force. So essentially various things from like different points in time, I guess, will be like in one area. That's what I'm assuming. And that is why we see things like this newspaper from May 4th, 2024. Zoom and Godspeed destroys Central City. This, of course, was the set photo which we had a couple of months ago. And this obviously got a lot of people freaking out. But yeah, we see this in the still force. So I'm just guessing we're going to have like various things from different points in time in the still force itself. But yeah, this newspaper article 
it's really, really sick. Of course, this could be foreshadowing where they are setting up Zoom and Godspeed's return eventually, in which I've said this in many videos already, but Eric Wallace did say multiple times that he'd love to bring Zoom back on the Flash at some point, but he hasn't figured out how yet. But yeah, this could just be some clever foreshadowing coming from Eric Wallace. Of course, it must be mentioned that it does say 2024 and not 2022 or 2023. So for us to see that the flash will need to get 10 seasons which i don't think it will especially with the state of what's happening with the cw right now or again it could just be grant gustin's decision like he could just go okay i don't want to go more than season nine we'll just get season nine and that will be the final season so of course if that happens then we'll definitely not get that but if season nine is not the final season and we get season 10 then maybe we could potentially see something along those lines. Who knows? But yeah, anything is possible. We do have the CW upfronts next week. So yeah, we could potentially get a final season announcement for The Flash then. And if they do not say anything, then it is safe to assume that The Flash will most probably be getting a season 10 as well. But we still will not know for sure. Now, this Zoom and Godspeed article... It could also be some sort of like timeline that is not fully set yet. Like it is only one outcome of a possibility that could happen. That of course is possible as well. So we might not even see this happening at all. It's just a newspaper just for the sake of this episode for just some like cool OMG moments to have. Now we do know that Barry is holding some sort of device when he's in the still force. So not only do we see it in like different shots in this trailer, but we do also know that he's been holding something through his set photos as well. Now what my guess is that it's most probably going to be like a temporal tracker to find where Iris could potentially be. We do know that like a couple of episodes ago, Dion did place this like still force tracker to Iris in case something happens. So maybe like um, Barry like reverse engineered and designed this um, temporal tracker to you know find iris in the still force or find dion's inserted still force tracker to iris and he'll be essentially able to track that using this device that could also be potentially what's going on and then we have dion and barry going around the still force with this tracker and then this tracker could be like giving heat signatures to where iris was maybe but she keeps disappearing which is why Barry is not able to find her maybe that's what's happening or maybe it's just that he gets no readings at all it will be interesting to see what is going on now it will be interesting to see if there will be any sort of mention of the negative still force in this episode we should somewhat start to get more answers with that as it was something they have established earlier on during Armageddon but never followed through with it so it is clear they had plans for it as I said my theory is that it's the negative still force causing iris's time sickness so i think that th whatever's going on over here we could potentially get some negative still force hints but whether or not will we have any mentions of it during this episode i don't know but i think that we should definitely get a couple of negative still force references eventually it must also be mentioned that Iris's time sickness is making Dion weaker so it will be interesting to see if iris's contamination of the still force makes the still force itself weaker than it prior was and of course makes um dion weaker as well and maybe that is why it is harder for dion to track down iris despite giving her a tracker now we do have a couple of shots of barry being alone in this trailer as well so i'm guessing that something is going to happen to dion again so maybe the same thing happens to him like like what happened a couple of episodes ago where he just disappears because well something happens so we'll most probably get Dion's powers like glitching out again due to the still force being so weak so that's what I'm expecting to happen so they get Dion out of the equation and just leave Barry alone in the still force now we do know that Nora West Allen will be in this episode and here we get a couple of shots of her in the still force as well but we know this will be later on in the episode because from what we can tell from the trailer, we have Barry and Dion clearly entering first and that is of course very early on. So clearly Nora comes in later. So it will be interesting to see how Nora enters the Still Force and also what Nora's reasoning for her being in present day is. Maybe Iris's disappearance is affecting Nora and Bart's existence because of course no Iris means no Bart and Nora. So 
maybe something's happening in terms of that and maybe something's happened to Bart already making him unable to be here in this episode and that's why Nora is stepping in alone that's what I think their explanation is going to be and I think that is a possibility it could also be possible that Barry and Nora do actually enter the Steel Force together early on but the trailer makes it look like it's only Barry and Dion at first but the thing is like you do have to take into account how would Nora enter the Steel Force if Barry and Dion have already entered it? So there is that which needs to be taken into consideration. Or I could just be overthinking it. Maybe Dion eventually goes up to Nora and then brings her into the Steel Force as well for help. That could of course be possible. But yeah, in another trailer, we did see Barry and Nora suited up in present day. And this is outside the Steel Force because we do not have that green filter. So this could potentially be early on in the episode when Barry sees Nora for the first time after she time travels to present day and they talk about what's happening. Or it could also be towards the end of the episode after they've exited the Steel Force. And maybe there's some sort of like threat after them. I'm not entirely sure, but I am really interested to see what's going on in this episode. Now we do have this one shot of Chester in CCPD and he's doing some like crime technician stuff and this is of course related to the synopsis as it does say CCPD enlists Chester for help when a mysterious device is found at the crime scene. I don't really care for it because I'm looking more forward to the Steel Force stuff so I'm not going to go too in detail with that but it's clear that we're having like two subs well we're having two storylines in this episode i was gonna say sub storylines but that's not true we're having two storylines in this episode one of course being the still for stuff and then we're getting whatever's going on with chester over here it'll be interesting to see but yeah i'm more interested in the still for stuff now lastly we do see barry holding the hairbrush iris had during the episode 6 ending so yeah barry is able to find iris's hairbrush so maybe What's most probably going to happen over here is that we're going to see other things present in the Steel Force which Iris has come in contact with. All of which maybe could be manipulated by Dion where he could like absorb the particles of it and spot where Iris could be from that. Like you know essentially get a scent because these are stuff Iris has come in contact with. So maybe like Dion or maybe another character is able to like get a scent of something Iris came in contact with and using that they could kind of track down where iris is at that could of course be a potential thing happening as well now of course there should be some sort of like a threat taking place during this episode which makes barry and nor eventually leave the still force so maybe if they stay for too long they won't be able to get out of the still force maybe iris's time sickness contaminating the still force is making things worse and because of it weakening the still force or well in more simple terms once again contaminating the still force of course it poses as a threat so whatever Bar whatever Barry and Nora are doing they're gonna have to act quick otherwise something bad is going to happen to them and that of course would add the value of intensity to the episode and makes this make the stakes higher as well so yeah that will of course force Barry and Nora to act quick so maybe that is some sort of the threat that's going to be taking place during this episode now we do also have promo images to go over, they aren't really that interesting. The first bunch of photos we really just have Team Flash in the lounge area of Star Labs and Barry, we just have Barry, Chester, Cecile, Joe and Allegra and this is of course Barry just talking about what's happening with Iris and pretty much all that stuff that maybe she's disappeared in the still force and her time sickness has just reached another level. And the other stuff, we're with Nora West Allen at night. So this is clearly like near the end of the episode. Um, they will most probably talk about like what happened in the Still Force and just fill everyone in. And also just talk about what's going on in regards to like Iris and how they weren't able to find her in the Still Force. So clearly there is something bigger happening over here. But yeah guys, thanks for watching. If you guys have enjoyed the video, please give a like and subscribe. Be sure to tell me in the comment section down below if you guys are excited for this episode. I'm interested to see all of your thoughts towards all of this as well. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. I see room.